Welcome back to the video guys and today we're back with another Puzzletales video. Today we're going to talk about the best healers in the game. There is a couple people that can heal but who's the best one? And are the others decent enough to be used? Um, let's have a look. So we're gonna uh, do the usual ranking that I did for the OG version of the game. We have the S rank being the top tier, the best healer. We have the A rank, the mid tier, and then we have the B rank, which are mostly healing, but then they're a bit useless because of different things. Right, let's start with the B rank. Now, um, the first one that I'm gonna put here is gonna be Nancy Wheeler. She's there because it's an obvious thing. She's not really a healer, we know that. She's the vulnerability damage dealer, a queen, and she is not a healer. She changes, she can change, but only once per mission, a die to healing die. And that's why I put her there, because she has a little bit of that healing ability. Okay, the next one I'm gonna put there is gonna be Eleven. And Eleven, like Nancy, she's there because she can heal, but she only heals herself. And that's very selfish, because if you're healing a team, if you wanna be a good team member, you have to heal the others, right? So yeah, because she's a selfish healer, well, I'm gonna put her in the B position, and because she shouldn't be used as a healer in the team. The next selfish person is going to be Max, and Max, well, again, like Eleven, she only heals herself. How can you be a team player if you only heal herself, right? So, yeah, she's going to be there because she has the ability, but then it's only about her, so she's going to be in the B spot. Finally, in the B spot, we have Mike Wheeler, uh, and Mike, he actually is not that bad, but it's only small percentage and you have to match green dices um, and you only heal the member with the least energy not with the least health like it's a bit weird here because somebody else might need the heal but because he has more energy he won't be healed like it's a bit weird and uh, definitely not the healer you want to use and Mike overall is not like the best character you want to use anyway uh, but yeah let's go move on to the A tier list and we are going to have some nice healers here actually first one is going to be Joyce and Joyce uh, actually she has this interesting heal if you pair her up with somebody like Jim she's gonna be able to heal everybody with height and that's the whole team this is really nice because it can easily affect the whole team if everybody is below 50% and then uh, she also uh, changed three random uh, green dice into healing dice every turn every turn that's very easy to activate happens automatically and it's just amazing i love it uh so there we go we have a decent healer you want might want to have on your team because i feel like every team needs to have at least one healer in order to be to be like a hundred percent efficient um and yeah like the next one i'm gonna put on the a list is gonna be jonathan byers now this guy on activated ability changes five random dices into healing dices um so yeah this is amazing because then you get to heal the lowest person and this is really really cool and also uh, when an ally is damaged to below 50 percent he's gonna change random green dices to healing dices right so this is really nice um really cool stuff here uh to be able to activate even more dices whenever an ally is depleted to below 50 percent right the final guy on the a list is going to be uh, green Dustin and uh, we have a bunch of awesome tier characters coming up on the list but what can you do this guy heals the whole team for 35% when you activate his ability right when you activate his ability 35% the whole team this is a team play now when you do the whole team it's amazing uh, and it's not that hard to charge him up because uh, we have them healing dices are coming up so he's gonna be able to charge up easily also, every time you match a green dice, you can change four random green dices into healing dice, and this can easily be done. Uh, this can easily be done. You can have e easily have green. Green is like the best color for healing, honestly. It's only green healers, so you can have a whole team of green characters just heal everything <laughs> all the time and activate everything. Right, and then we have the S tier, and there is only one character that I feel needs to be here, and he was created for that, and this is uh, Argyle. Uh, and I know there are some issues with this uh, with this design of this character developers are looking into it And they're gonna fix it in the next update, but he's still the best hitter in this game guys I have him maxed out. I'm using him every day. This guy is like a really really good healer Especially if you see my tag team video with synergy with uh, 11 
she can easily activate his dices. It's gonna be crazy. And yeah, he changes dices to healing dices like Jonathan, and then he activates three random dices even better because not only you're healing, but you're also assisting the team by activating. Those could be empowered dices, you know. This could be like some really good dices that you wanna have activated, right? Every turn he's gonna heal the most damage member for nine percent. This is not like well, not the one with least energy. You wanna heal the most damage person. This is what a healer should do right this is amazing and that's every turn automatically right next up we have whenever you match green dices you change three green dices into healing dices right so this is like dustin's but you put together every other character every other healer from a tier list puts together and they create this perfect argyle uh but this perfect healer and finally if he is uh, damaged to below 50 percent every single green dice can become a healing dice wow that's amazing that's like that's, that's amazing, that's exactly healing when you need it, you know, especially when he's about to die, he has a gift for the whole team, he's gonna heal them, right? Um, so yeah, this is amazing, I love Argyle, Argyle is the best healer, 100%, if you wanna have a strong healer, this is the character you want to invest with, don't invest into the others, because you can easily use Dustin and Jonathan as a fodder to make Argyle a 6 star, and make have an even better healer than the one you have, if, be, if you've been using somebody like Dustin or Jonathan who are a lot easier to get than Argyle. But yeah, these are the healers, this is the best healer as well, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys all in my next video.